This is the video solution to question number five uh, for the final exam from winter 2012. And we're told that Judy's working on a statistics project, um, giving us a confidence interval uh, for pulse rates measured in beats per minute. And the average uh, for the population mean, she makes a confidence interval. It's a 99% confidence interval, and it goes from 66 to 72. She provides us with the following list of statements, and it's our job to determine uh, which statements are correct and can be considered, can be considered for conclusion, inclusion. So the first sentence says, we are confident that 99% of all students at this college will have pulse rates between 66 and 72 beats per minute. This is not correct. Uh, remember, when we're interpreting a confidence interval, we're making a statement about what we believe the true population parameter to be, in this case, mu. And this interval is talking about 99% of all students. Okay. That's not what we're interested in. When we're interpreting a confidence interval, we want to talk about the parameter of interest. Okay, the second sentence says we are 99% confident that the sample mean pulse rate will be between 66 and 72 beats per minute. The trick to this question or this sentence is that it says sample mean pulse rate. Okay, and we know that the sample mean is going to be the midpoint of this interval, uh, so this can't be correct. And remember, when we're doing a confidence interval, it's an inference procedure. We want to learn about the population, not the sample. So this isn't correct. Statement 3 says we would estimate with 99% confidence that the mean pulse rate for all students at this college is 69 beats per minute with a margin of error of 3 beats per minute. And that is correct, right? This is what a confidence interval interpretation is. We say with 99% confidence, we think that the true mean, right? And notice that it does say uh, for all students, right? So from the population is uh, 66 to 72. It says it differently. It says that it's 69 with a margin of error of 3. Uh, but that's saying effectively the same thing. Okay, and lastly, uh, we have the statement, we would expect 99% of all possible random samples of the same size to result in a confidence interval that would contain the population mean pulse rate for all students at this college. And that's also correct. This is not a confidence interval interpretation. This is a confidence level interpretation. And remember, what we say with that is that if we made a lot of intervals from a lot of different samples, we would expect the confidence level percentage to be the proportion of the intervals uh, that, that contain the true parameter. And that's what this is saying here.